day to stay inside tomorrow or what? Well, you know, it's going to be a nice day again. Okay. It's going to be a dry day and a warm day again. And it looks like, hey, you know, I've always heard that if you are in a drought, and we are at this yep. time, that you wouldn't see mosquitoes. But I'll tell you what, my backyard, not the case. Oh, they are still around. Yeah, they Going are strong. active and buzzing around. And hey, we need some cold air yes. to get in here and get rid of them not coming our way right now. Really? Oh, no. Unfortunately, okay. let's take a look at a couple things right now. Currently taking a peek at Reagan National Airport. That's in the foreground. Off to the right on your cameras, you can see the Capitol wheel. And off to the left, well, we have Reagan National Airport. So it's a balmy evening in many locations. 78 degrees. That's still above average. Typically for this time of year, we would be at 75 for a daytime high. 78 continuing at Reagan National with winds out of the south. And most of us are still in the 70s right now. At Manassas at 69 degrees and tomorrow morning we will see temperatures ranging from 66 to about 71 inside the beltway. It will be warmer now clouds and radar showing just a few light showers across parts of northern Maryland into it looks like Frederick County across the Potomac River into the panhandle of West Virginia. A few thunderstorms coming from West Virginia into Western Virginia. That really is going to be about it. So if you live in our northwestern suburbs or western suburbs, you may get a couple Couple sprinkles on the windshield if you plan to head out or you may hear a little bit of rain on the roof, but it's not going to amount to much. The rain that's coming our way is certainly going to do nothing to alleviate our dry and drought like conditions in many locations. Now, as I put the future cast, we can see that rain begin to dissipate as it moves off towards the east and overnight temperatures really not going to budge too much inside the beltway about 74 degrees tomorrow morning. If you plan to head out for Sunday services, 60s for the rest of us and then Tomorrow afternoon, as I mentioned, 85 in the afternoon. Most of our September days, we have had above average temperatures. In fact, over 80% of your September days have had above average temperatures. And that, tre that trend and that streak, it's going to continue right into October. We've got the last Nats game of the season here tomorrow at the ballpark. It's going to be a beautiful day. Remember your sunscreen, your sunglasses, and you're going to need those short sleeves uh, tomorrow. And it looks like for the next several days, 94 degrees on Wednesday with the feels like temperatures pushing close to 100. I'm tired of saying that. I feel like it's August still. And then, hey, next weekend, we are hoping with fingers crossed, toes crossed, whatever, it looks like a big cold front's going to come in here Thursday and Friday. And finally, it's going to feel like fall next weekend. All right. What a swing there going from Wednesday to that weekend. But mm -hmm. I will take it. Yeah. As long as it stays